welcome to White Ball Wednesday. This week, what is the secondary software market? So as a consumer, I can buy a piece of hardware, I can use it, get some value from it, and then I can sell it on, should I want to. I could stick it on eBay or sell it to a friend, whatever I want to do. I could also do that with a piece of copyrighted IP, like a book. I can buy a book, I can enjoy it, I can sell it on, stick it on eBay. And little known fact is that you can actually do the same with software under certain conditions. You can buy some perpetual software, use it, get value from it, and then sell it on. But there are certain terms. First of all, you're not allowed to sell OEM software. OEM software is that which comes with the device, such as sometimes you buy a laptop and it has OEM operating system on it, and that's supposed to live and die with that device. Secondly, you can't sell, you can't break up the bundles. So if you bought a bundle of things, including this piece of software, it needs to stay as that bundle. Thirdly, it can't be a subscription. It has to be a perpetual license. Fourthly, you need to have it uninstalled and have sufficient uh, processes in place to demonstrate that that's uninstalled. And fifth, it only applies in the European Union. You have to have bought that software in the European Union. Uh, following a ruling in Europe a number of years ago. Now, why do people explore secondary software in the first place? Firstly, if you're getting shot of software that you've you know, got a surplus of, you can get some money back. It's very unusual for an IT department, but you actually get some cash back for those assets, for that surplus assets that you've sold. Uh, there's two types of players in the market. There's either brokers that will, for certain titles, will just buy the software off you directly, uh, you know, for cash, knowing that they'll be able to sell it somewhere. Or there's also marketplaces, and that's where you can list your software for sale, and that uh, marketplace will broker an introduction to somebody who wants to buy it from you. On the flip side, those seeking secondary software are gonna get it at a much lower cost, and they don't need to buy the latest and greatest software. They can just buy the version that they need to support their infrastructure. So for some, in certain circumstances, it's a really great option. We'll be